Now, some of you are in relationships, you're very unhappy, you're suffering, you're struggling, and you're not to blame. You just didn't know that you were not ready for one. There's a saying that in life there's two people you can't advise. Someone with money and someone in a relationship. Now, that leaves you single people exposed. So this video is for you. So before you start going around causing people headaches, these are the signs that you're not ready for a relationship. If your mental health is important, yes. <laughs> you want a relationship, but at the same time, you don't want to run mad. Are you mad? You want a relationship. You don't want to run. What have you had about relationships? If you want mental health, then you stay with that. You can't, can't have your cake and eat it. But if you want a relationship, then what's mental health? What's wrong with you wanting both? You're confusing your brain. Actually, if you want a relationship and at the same time you don't want to run mad, now that is a mental illness. Money. <laughs> money. Okay. Uh, if you don't have money, if you see relationships passing here, you, you pass here. And it's not only for men, even ladies. If you don't have money and a man is trying to date you, you run. Because for how long will you be tying a ribbon around yourself every time it's his birthday? Father's Day. Anniversary. Mm? Christmas, you fall under the tree. And for you men, I don't even need to explain. Having a stable relationship without money, what money is that? If you expect the right answer to the question, where are you? You're not ready. First of all, the standards of that answer were set way back in history. When God asked Adam, God, <laughs> Adam set the standard up here. Now, if even God didn't get the right answer, who are you? If you fear being embarrassed, <laughs> ah, then you wait. Emba embarrassment is national cake. Everyone dating is a stakeholder. Actually, if your partner has not embarrassed you yet, how you wait? We're well, going to reach all of you. You got on relationships. Your boyfriend will go out to buy something from the shops and you'll end up seeing him on a random status at his surprise wedding. Cutting cake. Your girlfriend will go pick clothes from the wire and she'll come back in the house saying, and you Gabriel has told me I'm about to have a child with a man I buried. If you fear witchcraft or Ted Dog, ha, just wait. <laughs> in Africa, relationships are spiritual warfare. Actually, when you're finding a partner, it's good to find one who looks like she has weak ancestors. Hey, but there's someone you can see from a distance and you're like, ah, this one. If I do anything stupid, she might have backup. And even if she's a church goer, that's even worse. Because that's now God coming after you. Either way, you're finished. It is not fighting flesh and blood, but principalities and powers of the world. If you want to settle, ah, then relationships are not for you. You fail to settle when you're alone. Now you think you're going to go get a stranger, get them into your life, so that you can now settle down. Think that makes sense. What do you understand by settling? To, to be calm. Oh dear Lord. If you're clever and very wise, yeah, you're overqualified. You, you can make bombs, amend the constitution, make rockets, cure cancer, like that, like that. Join CIA. If you think the relationship must end in marriage, <laughs> also you first wait. <laughs> you just need a relationship should just end in a good relationship. Hey, don't put pressure on your friends. Marriage is a, is a side effect. You know like those things they put on medicine eh, that you might experience nausea, dizziness, eh, but some people don't experience. Same thing. Manage your expectations. Some relationships are really just to I help you afford food so you don't die. Get you across the bridge. Folks, I mean, you need chemistry. Are you now a chemist? You need it to pass exams. Your current relationship is just that. To get a report card. So they say, she passed Martin. The bar is silent. It's just that. Some relationships are just there for you to learn a lesson. So that you become an example. When people are talking, they can cite you. For example, Joyce. If you have a heart condition, if doctors have said something, don't do anything. Relationships in Uganda are not for ordinary hearts. They are for the original hearts, the first hearts. The, uh, 
Hey, if you have a problem, anything with the heart, just give your heart another sign. I mean, if someone comes hitting on you, hey, hi, you look nice, immediately cut them short. Hey, my heart is incompetent. If you don't have energy to fight, you are so your first weight. And I'm not a advocate for violence, but with the way things have been going this year, you may not need to beat someone, but you might need to protect yourself. People are not single. Every adult knowingly or unknowingly belongs to someone. If someone ever tells you they are single, ask them according to who? People knowingly or unknowingly belong to a situation, unless there's someone you've just created now. But that shouldn't discourage you from taking your person. <laughs> Manu considered seven goals. You think there was no keeper? <laughs>